Oh, brilliant, you're here. My name's George, and I'm a wildlife ranger working right here at the Ranger HQ. Um, normally with Toby, uh, but I can't actually find him right now. Toby and I are in charge of the zoo pack, and we're making sure it has lots of information about all the animals that live at Ranger HQ. Before I find Toby, we need to check which animal we are finding out about today. The giraffe. What do giraffes eat? Well, seeing as Toby is a giraffe, I really need to try and find him. He could be really helpful today. I guess the best place to start looking is over with the other giraffes at Ranger HQ. But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our Ranger adventures. Shall we go and look for him? Great, let's go. Welcome to the giraffe enclosure. Aren't they amazing? This is the perfect example of where giraffes live, as they live in the dry savannas of Africa. Huh, there's no sign of Toby so far, but let's see what we can find out about giraffes for the zoo pad. Whoa, Toby is tall, but he's not as tall as some of these giraffes. Not yet, anyway. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world and can be up to six meters tall. And even their legs are longer than most humans at all. Did you know, even though Toby and all the other giraffes are really tall, they have the same number of bones in their neck as you and I. Those bones are called vertebrae and both humans and giraffes have a total of seven of them in their neck. <laughs> Giraffes are really quick. They might look a bit long and wobbly, but they can run as fast as 35 miles an hour. That's about 10 miles an hour faster than the fastest human. This is handy because it helps them to get away from predators, like lions, who like to eat giraffes. Their legs can make things a bit trickier, as it's hard for them to reach the water to take a drink. But luckily for giraffes, they only need to drink once every couple of days. They actually get a lot of the water they need from the plants they eat. That's useful. Giraffes live most of their lives stood up. Not only can they sleep standing, but they give birth when stood up too. This means the first thing a baby giraffe does is fall about two meters to the ground. Ouch! When we are babies, it takes us a long time to start walking, but giraffe calves are walking within an hour. This is really important because they need to be able to stand up so their moms can feed them. The little stumps on their heads are called ossicones and are little hair covered horns, which the males even use to fight. When they fight, they swing their necks and heads into each other. This is called necking. Giraffes are so fascinating, but hang on, we still don't know what they eat. Ah, oh, if only Toby was here to help. Wait, let's see if there's a fact file that can help us. Here's one on herbivores. Herbivores are animals that only eat plants. This can include fish, insects, and even plants that eat other plants. Whoa. Welcome to our fact file on top herbivore facts. Number one, types of herbivore. There are all kinds of different herbivores. Some eat lots of different plants, while some stick to just one type. For example, fruit bats that only eat fruit are called frugivores. Animals that eat mostly leaves, such as pandas, giraffes, or koalas, are called Folivores. Now, there isn't much nutrition or energy in leaves. Leaf eaters, like sloths, save energy by moving really, really slowly. And it takes them so long to digest their food, they only need to go to the toilet once a week. Number two, size. The largest animal to walk the earth 
the African elephant, and the tallest animal on Earth, the giraffe, are both herbivores. Elephants can be as heavy as six cars and can eat more than 130 kilograms of plant food every single day. Herbivores are so big because there are so many plants for them to eat. And normally, once they've eaten the leaves, they grow back. It's an endless supply of plants. Some herbivores are what's known as seed dispersers. This means that after they've eaten the fruit of a plant, they poop out the undigested seeds, so even more plants grow. Great for growing even more plants to eat. Being big is handy for avoiding predators too, as being really big normally means predators won't attack as they don't want to get injured. Very clever. Number three, herbivores versus carnivores. There are a lot more herbivores than there are carnivores. This is probably because it's a lot easier to be a herbivore. There are plants everywhere, and animals have a much easier job eating plants as plants don't run away, unlike the animals that carnivores hunt, which do run away. Plants might be easier to catch, but it is harder for a herbivore to digest their food, which means it takes longer to get all the energy they need from the plants they eat. In fact, some animals, including cows and giraffes, have more than one stomach to help them. Animals that have more than one stomach are called ruminants. What, what a fantastic fact file! And get a load of who I just found! Toby, you're here! Sorry, George, I've had busy business to do. But how can I help? Well, hang on a minute. You see, the fact file we just watched just said giraffes are herbivores, meaning they eat plants. That helps us to answer the zoo pad's question. Now, all I need is all of your help to make sure I pick the right food for our giraffes. Toby, no hints or tips, please. We need to do this ourselves. Do you think that giraffes would eat this? A plate of meaty steak? Or this? A pile of delicious leaves and plants? That's right, leaves, because giraffes are herbivores. Good work, and just in time as well. I think these giraffes are looking pretty hungry. Some species of giraffe are critically endangered, which means there are not many of them left in the wild. When you visit zoos or donate to charities, you are helping to fund work that looks after the habitats that the giraffes live in, and to help to protect them from poachers. Thanks so much for helping us today. The zoo pad is now filled with lots of information about giraffes. And we know that giraffes eat plants. Brilliant! Remember, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our ranger expeditions. I can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye, everybody!